Hello beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for the Act of Living show. Our guest today is a beauty queen, a motivational speaker and a media personality. She is a formidable Kenyan speaker and has been on TEDx stage. She is a high level UNHCR influencer that represents Luku Luku tribe that initiates and supports refugees. She is married and is a mother of two beautiful children. She is resilient, hardworking, ambitious, go-getter, stylish and beautiful. She recently launched a YouTube channel called What Women Want. She is none other than Pinky Gilani. She invites us to her home to have a look around and to have a conversation. That was a loud knock. <laughs> oh, I thought, you know, is there anybody here? <laughs> we got the memo, clearly. We got the memo. Look at us. We're matching. I know, Pinky. <laughs> Nyla! Did we decide to wear this outfit, the same color? It's called Great Minds. Great mind. Great huh? mind. This is how I dress when I'm just lounging in, in the house. <laughs> Fabulous you. Beauty And this queen. is how you dress when you're going to visit someone. Yes, this is how I dress. Girl, you know, look I at know. you. Girl, <laughs> welcome home. Thank you very much. Yeah. I got you a plant. <gasps> Oh, I love it. Do you it. really like gardening? Do you like plants? I'm okay. So my husband is more the green finger guy. Yeah. Okay. So he's got the touch with the plants. I don't mind plants. I do like them. I love the aesthetic, but I can't say I'm green fingers. All right. Thank, thank you. you. And you know they say a cactus is a great thing to give. It's a very protective plant. Yes. Yes, it as is. As much as I'm not a plant person, I know that. Do you know those little? Thank details? you. That's Most lovely. Welcome. welcome. Thank you. What a beautiful. My goodness, Pinky, is this your house? Well, I wish I could say it was all mine, but I live in a joint family. I live with my in-laws. Okay. So when I got married, this is the house that I moved into. So how long have you lived here? 14 years. My goodness, what was the experience like when you walked into the space? Look, like, I'm looking at the <laughs> high ceiling. I know, super high ceiling. Yeah, and it's beautiful, you know, the wooden beats right there yeah. and the detailing. My mother-in-law mm -hmm. went looking for her house. Mm -hmm. Every woman should open the door to her own home, right? Mm -hmm. Achi Ojani Alai told me that. They looked for many houses and she did this um, sort of search with my husband. This is how I know about it. And when they came here, mm -hmm. so this space that you are standing in mm -hmm. was all open. Okay. There was a tree that was growing from here. Can you imagine all the roots that sort of come up and, and you know, oh, yeah. lifted so the, was, the... The house was here, but the, the house tree. The house was here as you see it, mm -hmm. right? So rooms all around mm -hmm. and rooms upstairs, mm -hmm. but it was open. It was all open. The roof was open? Yes. The, open? It was covered. It was like, um, just like a balcony, like it was open air. And so you walk in through a door, mm -hmm. it, it gets wet. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this was like a lounge. This is like a lounge, I assume, or like an open, like a garden area. I don't know, because it was, this is an, an, a 50, 1958 built house. How big is it? It sits on about an acre. Okay. And it's got a lot of bedrooms, because of course, when my mother-in-law and father-in-law bought the house, they then, you know, went on to add their own touches. They added the wing that I live in now. Mm -hmm. um, they add, they up, updated the bathrooms, etc. But yeah, so the, the the story about the tree is that they cut it down and they made that roof. You can see it's all wooden mm -hmm. and the banister. Mm -hmm. I and love it. Is that a water fountain there? It is a water fountain. I should have switched it on for you, but let me show you what's inside. Uh -huh. If I do switch it on, it will disrupt my little terrapins. He can hear us talking. Oh, yeah? So that's why he's a bit eager. You should hear, you should see how he just responds to my mother-in-law. He loves her. He really? loves her voice. She can be up there and she'll talk to him and call and he'll like, look around for her. It's, animals are amazing. So it has its personality. What yeah. Did, did, have you learned anything about it? So he used to be mine for a while. I, I named him Infinity. Mm -hmm. Very chill terrapin. Mm -hmm. He loves the sunshine. That's how they grow, apparently. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, very flexible, despite you know being very 
slow and steady. I cannot take credit for furnishing this side of the house. Yes. This is very much my mother-in-law's okay. choice. Okay. You can see, you know, these, these wooden stools, that, that carved uh, table, it yes. comes in a set of four. Right. And it's got a rocking chair that matches it. You can see that she's got the trunks. Yes. Yeah, so again, you know, just wooden carved. She's very classic in her t taste. The mirrors as well? The mirrors as well. I don't know why you feel it looks like you. Really? Your touch over there. I, no, this is nothing at all. This is all her. Did you move straight from your mother's house yes. to this house? Yes. So you didn't live alone at all? I've never lived alone. So you can see the detail on the banister. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of pictures and paintings that my mother-in-law has put up. Your mother-in-law your mother is very artistic. Huh? Very. She knows the classic looks, the antiques, etc. But for me, it's more contemporary, mm -hmm. which doesn't really last. Okay. So these are paintings from the village that my husband's family are from. Oh, where is that? Uh, Punjab. In fact, I'm not their, their tribe. What tribe are you? I'm Hindu. I see a gallery of photos. Yes. That's very much personal to my mother-in-law. You can see Raj when he was young. Uh -huh. That's my mom-in-law. She's beautiful. She is. I wish she was here. Uh, that's my mom. OK. Yeah. Oh, so your family is here. Well, we did a family photo shoot once. OK. And there's my mom. Mm -hmm. She's there. That's my father-in-law, who's uh, now passed away. All oh, right. Um, yeah, that's my daughter. When they were little. Yes. And this is your husband, family, when this they were younger. When they were all little. I see when all the, the pictures travels. can tell. Yeah, exactly. That's her With on her wedding day. Oh. My mom and dad. All right. She's yeah, gorgeous. That's my husband and my daughter. Oh, a lovely picture. Yeah. Nice. You know, the view from up here. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. I but guess. you're not worried about the children because, you know... My children have grown up. When they were little, yes, yes I would worry, but they would hardly come upstairs. Okay. Pinky, mm. what is the secret of being young, <laughs> sassy, mama? Um, you, you have to accept that you're going to age. Don't deny it. My mother always said you must age gracefully. So age is something that is inevitable. Don't, don't fight it. You know, don't go for the chemical stuff in your face. The thing is, what will keep you young is laughter, uh, giving love and being completely authentic, looking after yourself by way of drinking a lot of water, eating good foods. Those are the things that I think keep me young, at least. I do a lot of yoga a lot of prayer and meditation. So what values are you instilling in your children? They're going to be adults that I am going to give to the society, right? So they must be good human beings. It's great if they are um, academically um, strong. It's great, but I don't push it. I don't, I'm not one of those moms like, bring me straight A's, otherwise you're hopeless and useless. I'd rather a happy child. A happy child grows up to be a happy person who doesn't bully who doesn't um, disrupt. I just teach them to be good honest people. One thing that is very important is they respect themselves first. Once you respect yourself you can show that respect to others. Agreed. Challenges of being a mama? Oh man, what is it? We're in a pandemic. Looking at them and wondering what mental health issues are these children going to have? Not now, 10 years from now, five years from now. Are they going to be obsessively cleaning their hands? Are they going to um, wonder what, what we could have done uh, better that, you know, so that this couldn't have happened? Are they going to be socially okay? Will they be able to do Manage. what we're doing? Yes. You know, cool. because they've been taken away from their friends. Are they going to understand competition? Because school is good because it does make you there's co competition in a healthy, healthy manner. You married for how long? 14 years, Naila. 14? <laughs> how is he to be married for 14 years? It's interesting. I mean, we dated uh, before we got married. So do you remember how many years is that? You dated for nine years. Pink. Would you like a drink, by the way? Oh, it's not a hard drink. Okay. It's the drink that we have in the morning. Okay. Always. 
Always? Yes. <laughs> Always cake cola? Always cake cola. <laughs> nice. Yes. This is the drink that we like to serve. Oh. And that we know is extremely refreshing. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, so um, I know you were a bit shocked that we've been together for so long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's how long I love the way it fits us. Cheers. 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 And chill fast. Crunchy. Uh, no, we can't have the long ones. <laughs> You dated for nine years. <laughs> nine years before we got married. What were you waiting? Married. What were you waiting for? I was in my twenties. I think I think if you're in your twenties, you need to not be committed if you're not sure. See, my brother got divorced in the interim, so I was like, oh my god, marriage is not for me. Marriage ends up in divorce. And um, but yeah, all through that, I was with Raj on and off. We broke up. We made up. We yeah. Were you dating other people? No. You did it. He was the first love or not? No, no. You he had was my third official boyfriend. So you got married at what age? Thirty-one. Oh. I was an old brad. <laughs> and you know, I think it was the best thing because I really knew who I was. Mm -hmm. I found myself in my twenties, and I knew that marriage is definitely something that I wanted to be committed to. It was something very holy to me. Mm -hmm. It's something that I believed in. So there's, I mean, if you talk to Raj, he'll tell you that I proposed. But that's not true. That's not true, <laughs> that's Raj. That's a juicy story. <laughs> Did you propose? He proposed several times. It's like, okay, so shall we? Okay, so shall we? It was never like formal um, with a ring. Yeah, it was never formal with a, I mean, like his family came home to ask for my hand. And, you know, they come home with some sort of jewelry and something and to make it official, if you will. Um, and then after that, that was seven years before we got married. So he proposed first. Mm -hmm. So right before we got married, I decided I'm going to go to India and try and become a Bollywood actress. So I called him and I'm like, I think I want to marry you. So that's what he's taken as a proposal. It's okay for women to know <laughs> what she wants. Yeah. Because you both knew what she wanted, right? Yeah, at that moment, I was like, yep, forget this, that line. Shenanigans. I, yeah, I want to marry you. The Note makeup brand is accessible for every woman who wants to have the best version of themselves. Get your Note makeup from Linton's Beauty World stores today. This is another formal living room, as you can see. Okay. And again, decorated by my mother-in-law, who okay. loves her animal print. Okay. Black and white theme. Yes. So that's the rocking chair. Remember I told you it's matching the the wooden carved tables and the stools. Okay. Are you want to sit there? I just see her. Do you, you want to rock? Too? Yes. I can rock. This is a mermaid table. Oh, mermaid table. Oh, so again, um, <laughs> can I rock? Lady of leisure. I'm telling you. Yeah. This is what I. This is when you're not here. This is how I'm dressed, and this is where I'm seated. When do you guys dine or? Okay, so when we have guests, um, anything official like if it's Diwali and there's family over, we'll sit here. Okay. If there's uh, somebody getting married, um, you know, this is the space that we'll come and entertain our our families. I am. Uh, can you see those very huge vases? Yes. 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 So they're very um, Chinese inspired, again, all bought by her. Okay. There's this again that's got the Chinese feel, the Chinese fan. Yes, so the fireplace. fireplace. Which works, Yeah. by the way, it works. Okay, it does. <laughs> you know, Is some it people the just modern one or the wood? With wood? It's proper, proper wooden mm -hmm. fireplace. Wooden fireplace, yeah. okay. Yeah. This is my mother-in-law, little small artifacts, mm -hmm. you know, from all over the world. Sometimes some people have traveled, they'll buy her something, she'll put it here. So you've seen this is Chinese, this is Punjabi, this again is Chinese. This is a bar. <laughs> For drinks. For this, like I said, one of the bars. One of the bars. Maybe. This is, you know, um, again you can see there's a lot of things on the table and that, that whole animal print. So when guests come over, all this gets cleared mm -hmm. and you have a nice formal sit down. Yeah. And this, this opens up as well, the balcony. Oh, okay. Into my most <laughs> The special silverware? Yeah. The For guests. Queen Anne. The famous Queen Anne. Really? Yeah, it's not silver, it's Queen Anne. My 
most favorite place in the house is the garden. You guys put the bamboo yeah. up there? Raj, right, yeah. He did, your so, husband? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because he, he, he's also, like I said, he's very into outdoor living and greens, uh, greenery and all that. So he really supports my mom. Like my mom-in-law and him are having serious meetings. And you could think they're discussing like big business stuff, but they're discussing what they want to do with the garden and where they want to put this plant and that plant. And you know what I like? Your monkey tail plants. Ah, yeah, the tails. This is what my mother-in-law again calls them. So my children, when they were younger, they'd pull them, right? Because yeah. they're so like, they're so easy to pull off. Yeah. Oh, and be like, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Because it takes a while to to grow this. Yeah. And they're, I mean, in the front of the house, you'll see they're pretty long. They're all around here. Do It Yourself is brought to you by Plascon. Color your world. Pinky Gilani. Yes. Beauty Queen. Yes. I have a surprise for you, madame. Oh, wow. Can you look on your left? <laughs> Follow me, madame. Oh my. Hey, Hi. Miss Vanessa. She's here for you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from the DIY studio. Uh -huh. So today I'm going to be teaching you glass etching. Actually, just showing you. Christmas is around the corner, and instead of just giving gifts, we like to give personalized gifts. So part that of is it so is. Cool. Yeah, so this glass has uh, etching on it. Etching is basically. Um, like putting art, creating art on glass surfaces using uh, festive and or acidic substances. So we cut out the vinyl stickers. Yes. So these are readily available at the studio on order. You could customize to whatever you want. Merry Christmas or I love you or happy birthday. You just call the DIY studio and we customize them for you. So the first step in glass etching, because mm -hmm. we don't want to put fingerprints, is to clean the glass. So we use um, rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol because um, it, it gets even the tiniest particles off the glass. So the next step would be to wear the gloves so you don't reintroduce the fingerprints. After that, we pick our vinyl, vinyl cattle. Sorry. Yes. This is done using the Cricut machine, which is available at the DIY studio. So you just pull that back. All the way? Yes, all the way. And place it on the glass. What we're going to use today to etch is a more etching cream. So it's a glass etching cream that is available at the DIY studio. Etching cream is uh, acidic, so it burns. That is why we need the gloves again. You need to apply this cream for at least three minutes. So when you're working with this as well, you have to be in a, a well-ventilated area. We let it sit for about seven seven to ten minutes yeah then we rinsed it off and this is what we call etching oh, cool. yeah so today Yay. we we are proud of what you're doing on your show you. <laughs> in empowering women yes. so as the diy studio we thought it's something personal just you for you so thank That's you <laughs> thank you do it yourself was brought to you by plascon color your world you are celebrating 20 years yes as Miss India Kenya. What are your highlights of being Miss India Kenya? It was just, it was amazing that um, I got the opportunity to do that. Of course, travel all over Kenya. I've, I know all the corners of Kenya. Yes. And being welcomed um, by everyone, which was such a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, just being called to be a voice for so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that was a highlight. Meeting international dignitaries. Yes carrying the flag for my country. Yes. Amazing. My daughter asked me, she's like, but what made you Miss India Kenya? Yes. So that was a very deep question because I had to really think about it. And she goes, what makes you prettier than everyone else? And I was like, actually, she's nothing. Clever. I don't know. I can't say that I'm better than anyone in any way. Okay. I think we're, we're all great. It's just finding 
what we're really good at. Having been a media personality, mainstream media, with everybody knowing my name, I'm now finding myself in a space where I am in a social media platform where very few people know my name. So this to me, and especially I'm not of the age, if you will, where it comes like second nature. I mean, if you notice, 20 year olds know how to do social media like the back of their hand. It's yes. easy for them. Yes. For me, it's a learning because right. our generation was never taught to show off or post and boast. And, and it's not a bad thing. It is what it is today. But I see your pictures on Instagram and you're doing great. Well, thank you, Naila. But then if you look at, I mean, pictures are, are um, they're so 2008 or 2000 and late. People are doing reels and videos and you know, you now have to be on your game. You know, it's trying to always tell yourself to not compete with, show up the best you can. What are you doing now? I have something on YouTube called What Women Want. It's probably the best thing. I love this thing because it's completely, you know, owned by me because I'm able to talk to who I want to, decide the questions that I want to ask these people. You're also Esther Couture. Um, ambassador. Esti Couture is a an Indian based shop in the UK. Yes. So they represent a lot of Indian designers and okay. I was so humbled that they chose me to yeah. be their face for Africa. What are your plans for the next five years? I stopped planning for five years. I've even stopped planning for tomorrow. Anything is possible. So my motto, if you will, what 2020 has taught me is to be like water and to flow and to be able to just change direction. So where do you shop? And what's the most iconic thing in your space right now? We clearly shop at the same shop, Naila. Organato? Organato. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love supporting Kenyan fashion. Okay. Kenyan designers, Kenyan shops even, because okay. I want the industry to improve and you know i want the economy to improve All right. um so i've stopped doing my my shopping online um from abroad are you living the life of your dreams i am absolutely my children are amazing my dogs are amazing my husband is the biggest blessing i have ever received in my life god has taken a lot away from me but i think he's really given me as well let's toast to let's toast to raj Yummy Raj. <laughs> How to pick the perfect color palette for your living room brought to you by Plascan. Tip number one, use color theory. Color theory is a perfect tool to help you land on a color scheme for your living room, especially if you've already got your heart set on a color or two and you're not sure what complements it. Tip number two, find some pre-inspiration. We've all had that moment where you like a deco accent or an accessory so much that you design your entire space around that one thing. Tip number three, know your undertones. When you are trying to find what colors go with beige living room tiles, you want to look closer and study the undertones of that particular shade. Tip number four, let it flow. The flow of the color throughout your home is important, especially if you've got a smaller space to work with. That's a beauty queen, Pinky Gilani, for you, the owner and the founder of What Women Want. Until next week, where we have another amazing guest on Sunday at six o'clock here on the Art of Living Show.